how to become a successful sports better and the three tips that I like to use. I'm going to give three or four tips that I use every day. Not only do you have to use perception to win in sports betting, but you also have to know the handicapping side of it as well. And you put those two together, and you can win a lot of money betting on sports. So um, I know the refs control games on these high volume games, but there's no way around that. So if you can use the perception to your advantage, as well as the handicapping aspect of it, you can make a lot of money. So the first tip I use, and this goes with college football, college basketball, and all sports in general, but I'm gonna, the main focus right now is football. So, um, but just know that you can use this, um, these strategies on all sports. So you just have to tweak it a little bit, but it works the same way. So um, the first tip I'm going to give is the coaches. The first thing I look at is the coaching of a team. If this coach ha- and I don't, I'm not saying that the coach has to be great. I'm just saying the coach has to be with his team the previous year. He had to have coached them the previous year because if he's been with them, you know he knows the system, he knows the team, he knows what he wants to do. And when you start betting on uh, first-year coaches with the team. You know, things are going to be crazy early on in the year and the coach could be trying to figure it out. And you never want to bet on a team where the coach is trying to figure out what he's what style they're going to play, what they're going to do. So you always want to bet on a team that has a coach from previous years. That's the number one tip that I like to um, use. And if he doesn't have previous experience with this team, if he's a new head coach coming into that team, I just skip it or I try to go against this coach uh, or the team that, you know, if they had a bad season or whatnot, I try to go against them. So that's the number one tip. Make sure that the coach has been with them at least one year prior to the season that's starting. The second one is the second um, tip that I'm going to give is um, the conference. The conference is very important. Um, A lot of the times... Uh, teams that don't match up well uh, against non-conference, especially uh, for college football, I'm talking about here in college basketball, conference matchups are very important, especially for the underdog. Uh, if you can get seven points on a conference matchup where the underdog is competitive, most of the time you're going to win on those matchups. Um, and this is another one that goes with conference matchup is the conference that they're actually in. For instance, the SEC uh, the Big 12, the Sun Belt, you know, you got to kind of uh, know where your team sits in those conferences and use that to your advantage with the line. So you never want to bet on a mismatch where you know the team is, you know, really wet, good in their conference, but then they play up against an SEC team where you know they're just going to get um, destroyed, even though that team is pretty good. You kind of want to look at the team's strengths see if they can actually cover against a SEC team because it does happen. But you just, once you get down to the Sunbelt Conference playing an SEC team, those, um, you know, those could go either way. So you, that team, if you're betting on that uh, Sunbelt team to cover that big spread against an SEC team, that Sunbelt team better be really good at what they do. So, um, but it does happen. There are, um, games where they do cover against these uh, bigger uh, matched opponents. So that's another tip, uh, the conferences itself. And um, the third and final tip is um, um, records, records from previous years. Um, I don't like to use season, um, current seasons as a prediction of how the team's going to do. I like to look at previous years when, um, especially the last year, I don't mean uh, two to three years back, but the last year, if they ha- if this team had a good record the previous year with the same coach, that's why I like using the same coaches because if he took his team and he had a good year with a good record, most of the time he's going to follow it up with that same performance, even if they haven't returned the same amount of starters. You know, they don't have as much of a defense as they did. His defense is easier to um, learn than offense. So um, if you do have not have enough starters coming back, but you have the same coach, that's okay. So um, I like to look at previous records. If they had a great team the previous year, 
because the current what the line makers are going to do they're going to use the current season as um, how they make the lines they're not going to look the previous year they're going to use the current season say for instance the team is three and oh four and oh to start the season they're going to use that um that stock on them as a being a three and oh team looking like a good team they're going to use that to make their line so um and also power rankings so um like to use previous uh year to uh, determine what i'm going to bet um in the current year so those are three good tips that I like to use. Um, I'll be back with another video shortly um, or within the next uh, couple days. So comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you then.